All right, so question 11. The distance on a map between two locations is 2.25 inches. If one inch equals 24 miles, what is the actual distance between the two locations in miles? So this is one of these um, kind of scale factor, proportional questions. And this is how we practice doing this. This is in a prior unit, so we can kind of write down when we get a scale. We know the distance between two locations is 2.25 inches. But then we get really a scale right here. It says if one inch equals 24 miles, we can write that down. So we're going to say one inch, I'm going to write it like a fraction, one inch is 24 miles. So if the distance between two places is 2.25 inches, how many miles is that? So here's where we can just find a relationship here and there. Well, we're going to multiply by 2.25 because how do you, 1 times what is 2.25? Should be 2.25. Pretty straight ahead. So we're going to do 24 times 2. Point, sorry, I almost miswrote that to get the answer, okay? So what does that look like when we do that math? I'll show you real quick right here on the bottom. Let's go to the dark ink. So I'm going to do 2.25 times 24. And this is the way you would write this up. You don't need to put zeros or line up decimals. You can write it just like this. We're going to actually move the decimal that's there two places out to the right just to kind of get rid of it while we do the math, and we'll bring it back in two places. So now let's multiply. 4 times 5 is 20. I'll put a 0 and carry it 2. 4 times 2 now is 8, plus the 2 at the top is 9, 10. Well, I'm going to put the 0 from the 10, but I'm going to carry the 1 up there. Now I'm going to do 4 times 2 right over there, which is 8, and then add the other 1 that's been carried up. That's 9. And I'm done with the 4. So put a line through the 4, and then drop down a zero right there. Okay, got to make sure you put that zero, hold your place up. All right, from there, we got two times five right there. And I'm going to erase what I'm holding over the top. But two times five is ten there. It's a zero. Carry one up top. Two times two is four, plus that one is five. I'm going to line it up there. And then if at the very end I have two times two, that's just a regular four. I think I have enough space to add all this up. That's zero and zero is zero. Zero and zero is zero. 9 and 5 is what, 14? 14, yeah, thanks for the help. And then 4 and 1 is 5. You get a big old number. It looks like 5,400, but that's not right. we got to come back two decimal places right there. So the answer is going to be 54 or 54 miles that you could write in there, but 54 is the way to go. And again, just units, create a proportion like a fraction, and then find the relationship. If you're multiplying with decimals, you don't need to line up the decimals when you're multiplying, okay? Put your longest number on top, whatever is longest, not necessarily the biggest number, but the longest number, and then put your other number underneath it all the way to the right, and then just do your multiplication straight away.